In this HVACR training video, we're going over five furnace parts that must be cleaned or the unit's going to fail and not provide heat. Part number one is the condensate trap and the discharge tubing. You can take that condensate trap and disconnect it from the tubing. You could blow it out. You could suck it out with a vacuum. You can disconnect it completely and put it in hot soapy water and just let it sit in there. And you want to basically make sure that there's no clog in there because what's going to happen is the water is going to back up into the furnace and it's going to throw an error code and the furnace is no longer going to heat. Part number two is a flame rod. And so you can turn the power off to the furnace and disconnect and pull out that stainless steel rod and clean it with non-soaked steel wool. And you're doing that to get rid of any, any buildup of soot that's going to insulate the electrical flow from going from the rod into the flame, which is the flame rectification process for proving that there is a flame. It's a safety device. And so you got to make sure that that's clean. Part number three is an air filter. And if you don't replace that, what's going to happen is it's going to completely clog with dust and the furnace is going to overheat. So it's going to overheat because there's not enough airflow coming across that heat exchanger inside the furnace and you have temperature sensors inside newer furnaces that are gonna throw an error code and stop the operation. You could also potentially damage the ECM blower motor if you have that equipped in your furnace, just due to a lack of, of airflow. And so make sure to change that air filter very often. Part number four is the combustion chamber. You gotta make sure to get eyes on the combustion chamber, see if there's black soot in there. If there's a bunch of black soot, the problem is it is not firing correctly meaning that maybe a propane conversion kit was installed in this furnace and it was never adjusted correctly. There's some problem that exists. And if so, if you have black soot all in there, you could have a major problem. You could be sooting up the inside of your heat exchanger and the whole furnace could have major problems. So you gotta get eyes in there, check it, clean it. Uh, you could also have uh, problems if you have a outdoor package unit where the front of the burner tubes get rusted and they gets rusted shut and then the flame won't travel across it and so those have to get cleaned with a wire brush the other thing is you could have just cobwebs in there and that could stop the gas flow from entering into the burner tubes so there's quite a few things that could happen at that combustion chamber you got to make sure to check that out and you can check for proper operation to make sure it's burning the gas right by running a combustion analysis test kind of a silly thing but it's often missed and it's at the inducer motor metal port. So any 80% efficient furnaces that have a metal inducer housing have a little port that almost always gets clogged. And so you take the tubing off and you can poke it, basically get all that corrosion out of there until it's completely opened up. And then you can put your tubing back on. And so what will happen is the furnace will throw an error code that has to do with a pressure switch because there's, it's not measuring to see if that inducer motor is even running. And so that's your, your fifth part to check. If you want to learn more about gas furnaces, maybe the furnace is having a hard time. It's not starting up completely. I have another video linked down in the description section below on that one. If you want to learn about gas furnace parts in general, I have another video about that. So we also have articles over at our website at acservicetech.com. We also have our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning book over at our website and also on Amazon. And hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.